Windows 11 is here and I'm going to show you how to upgrade to it in a Jiffy. So hey guys, I'm Arnav and you are watching Tech Arena. Let's get to the video. Alright, so I've already made a video on Windows 11 and its problem related to the minimum system requirements. So if you didn't watch that, just watch that video before watching this because there are some things that you need to know before you upgrade to Windows 11. So now, Windows 11 is finally here, not talking about the uh, leaked ISO, we are going to talk about the official upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. It's simple, it is something to do with the Microsoft Insider program. Now, what you need to do is just go to the settings and in the settings, update and security. And if you go over there, there'll be an option called as Microsoft Insider program or Windows Insider program. So you need to actually connect your Microsoft account to that program. And afterwards, you will have three options to choose, which is the dev channel, the beta channel and the stable one. So the dev channel is the place where you will get the Windows 11's Insider Preview update officially right now. So if you click the dev channel and click confirm, it'll ask you to restart your PC. And then after you start, you need to go to the settings, security and update and check for any update. So when you check for update, you will see that Windows 11's preview, Insider Preview is being downloaded. So after downloading that, if you restart your PC, there you go, you are freely upgraded to Windows 11 from Windows 10 without any data loss. Now, I'm not only going to talk about Windows 11 and how to upgrade to that, but also going to talk about my experience on Windows 11 because I've upgraded my personal PC from Windows 10 to Windows 11 and have been using it for a couple of days for uh, some editing, for some gaming and also for some, you know, normal stuff like, you know, um, adjusting documents, creating uh, mails and stuff like that so I'm going to talk about my experience of Windows 11. So initially when I signed up my Microsoft account to the Insider program and when I got this update I wasn't sure whether I need to upgrade to this or not because the number one problem was the instability. This is not the stable update and my friends if you're watching this video till now yes this is not the stable update of Windows 11 it is just the beta update so you might have rough edges here and there uh, while you upgrade to Windows 11 M might be there some small bugs and glitches that can get you nerve wracking but no I didn't have any experience as that sort so I'm going to talk about Windows 11's gaming performance first so soon after I upgraded to Windows 11 I am personally a PUBG PC player I play PUBG on Steam so me and my friends faced a problem while playing ranked matches we got this error which was actually fixed in just 15 minutes after we started playing this game and getting this error. We got an update from Microsoft and then this issue was fixed. But apart from that, gaming on Windows 11 is really great. Yes, there is FPS boost. I actually noticed a 10 to 15 FPS boost on PUBG PC when I upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And uh, not only that, I also experienced some FPS boost on Valorant. Yes. And when it comes to productivity, I am a filmmaking student myself and not in that I also create YouTube videos. So I use each and every Adobe applications and all those are on the latest updates. Adobe Audition, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, After Effects and Media Encoder, everything ran battery smooth. And for surprise, it is much faster opening on Windows 11. Yes, the app opening times on Windows 11 is very fast right now. And I think that's because of the direct storage, but I don't think that they have enabled direct storage uh, in the insider preview, but I can see that uh, the opening speeds of certain applications are really fast. Even the closing speeds of uh, applications on Windows 11 is very fast and that's, that's, that's completely really great. And I didn't face any issues while exporting videos on either After Effects or on Premiere Pro. It was really great. Even now, I'm going to edit this video on my PC, which is having the Windows 11 right now. So now about the people who won't be able to upgrade to Windows 11. The people who don't have TPM 2.0 won't be able to upgrade to Windows 11. But there is a way to work around this problem. Yes, even if you have TPM 1.2, you can download and install windows 11 on your pc by using another trick but i've managed to do that i and i found out that you won't be able to access windows 11 certain security features which is not really great so i think in a day or two you can expect a linus tech tips video about how to upgrade your pc from windows 10 to windows 11 even if you don't have ppm 2.0 on your motherboard or on your uh, processor so this is it this is how you can upgrade your windows 10 pc to windows 11 inside a preview and you're doing it on your own risk i've done it on my own risk i like taking risk and now i am finally happy with what 
the results i have got it's so cool so yeah windows 11 is here the link is in the description below for the previous video just watch it and make sure that you have turned your tpm on and your bios mode is on uefa so if you want similar videos like this if you want videos regarding any other topic you can comment down in the comment section below and yes do leave your thought on windows 11 and did you upgrade to it answer all the questions in the comment section below and as always this is me i'm signing off from the video until the next one stay home stay safe take care and bye bye